for many, many years, since the turn of the century, back in the turn of the century, uh, back in 1900, uh, there has been a concerted effort on the part of what we call Ivy League universities and colleges and news papers, magazines, uh, television, uh, big television shows like uh, Discovery and and uh, all of the big television networks, especially and especially the networks with their news at night, nightly news. There has been, as far back as 1900, a concerted effort to uneducate the American people because the more ignorant you are, the easier it is for con men to con you. It's very difficult to con somebody who has a, you know, a, is five times smarter than you are and who have doctors and PhDs by their name and they're not going to be that easily, uh, uh mis, misled. But if you can keep the people all to, all together, keep the people ignorant, ill-informed and unread, and uh, and do it in such a way that they don't know that they're being dumbed down, eventually <clears throat> there will come a time when the entire country will uh, have lost its ability to think. And so my friend Dick Gregory always said, colleges and schools uh, do not, they, they teach you what to think. They don't teach you how to think. And uh, it was I think it was uh, Bertrand Russell who said something to the effect that, I was just reading that lately, Bertrand Russell said that um, uh, men, are, humans are born ignorant, but you must go to school to be really stupid. And I thought that's a, that's a, uh, uh, and <laughs> that is a real truth. You know, all humans are born ignorant, but, uh, you know, you don't stay that way. The way the divine creator created our brains, we are inquisitive and start to read and study and question and educate yourself. Uh, that's the idea. No, today, the governmental systems, the international monetary elites of the world who now claim that they own the human race, they set up what they call schools. And the schools are not to educate you, but to prepare you to be in compliance with the system which is built up around you. So mostly in school, they teach you how to jump and what to kiss and how to uh, react to uh, authority. And, uh, and then they, you will see like a good dog, like Pavlov's dog, uh, if you get good grades, and you and you open your top of your head and take your brain out and just uh, repeat what you are being told by the uh, prostitutes and by the uh, the teachers and by the university uh, faculty. If you you know if you go along with the program, so to speak, then you will get a work permit. Uh, it's called a, you know it's called a work permit because it gives you the op opportunity now to go out and say, well, I have a PhD and. I have a doctorate in this or that, and uh, and therefore you can get a job, which is a work permit. That's all. And so that's why the system always promotes those who have a work permit, because they have been taught what to say, what to think, and, and you know, what to kiss and when. Uh, 